Hello, I am Arhu Chatterjee. I am a student at Department of Mechanical Engineering in Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, Dhaka, Bangladesh. So here is my undergrad thesis demonstration on computational investigation on full boiling IR images for segmentation of dry spots automatically and evaluating performance of traditional image processing and deep neural networks in quantifying dry area segments. My thesis supervisor is Dr. Maglubal Noor, who is a professor at Department of Mechanical Engineering, Buet. And my thesis co-supervisor is Dr. Mohammad Abir, who is a postdoctoral research associate at Department of Nuclear Science and Engineering, MIT. So the images showed here are properties of Department of Nuclear Science and Engineering, MIT. So they cannot be used or distributed anywhere without proper permission of the Department of Nuclear Science and Engineering, MIT. So the, the images are basically high speed full boiling infrared images of nuclear reactor. So you can see the top view of solid and liquid surface interface, which is the bottom surface during a pool boiling incident. So you can see here there are bubble corresponding dry spots on the right side. You have a picture of um, bubble corresponding dry spots and weight area. This is basically a surface area and uh, which is a solid and liquid surface area and the bottom surface so you, you see the bubble corresponding dry area and weight area accordingly so these are actual images and these are gray scales and uh, they are of 70 times 175 pixel So you can see the size comparison, which which is actual image, which is gray scaled and corresponding pixels shown here. And when we did the experiment on these images, we actually resized these images and enhanced as well. So uh, we resized to 256 times 256 pixels and we uh, uh, basically did some contrast enhancement operation on these images to get the background uh, to compare the, the background with respect to the dry segments so here is how we actually implemented unit a segmentation method which is based on deep convolutional neural network on pool boiling infrared image data set so we trained using this unit architecture in order to segment those dry spots so here is our training data we actually used 240 images and 30 images were used for cross validation and then another 30 images were used for testing purpose So you can see these were manually segmented using MIPAR in order to get the training model and then test it accordingly. So here are some examples how we how I did it. So here are the test data set and using the trained model previously shown. So testing were performed on 30 images 
of different heat transfer rates. So on the left you have the actual image and on the right you have the automatic segmentation based on unit trained model. So here are the examples. So we also did, uh, sorry, I also did the con comparative evaluation of traditional image processing algorithms with deep convolutional neural network which is basically UNET on pool boiling infrared image dataset and here are the examples. So we, we did it for 5 dataset different heat transfer rate data set so one was 600 kilowatt per meter square another one 700 800 900 and 1100 kilowatt per meter square so you can see the actual image and manual segmentation then automatic segmentation using unit and we also did some basic image processing operation and some complex image processing operation. So basic image processing operation was basically extended minima thresholding. We did for each testing images and complex image processing includes some adaptive Gaussian thresholding, then morphological erosion, dilation and corresponding operations. So here are some demo. So here is the reference links, full thesis can get that in research get and the code link you will get that in my github repository and you can use my par as well in your research work which I did and for my research purpose and you can also email me for anything regarding my thesis so I want to thank Professor Dr. Matteo Bucci who is, a who is a professor at Department of Nuclear Science and Engineering MIT and I would also like to thank Department of Nuclear Science and Engineering MIT who allowed me to use some of their images in my and their labs images in my thesis and I'd also like Massachusetts Institute of Technology for the whole thing. Thank you.